Michigan Kingpins is brought to you by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Trotside Restaurant, Northfield Downs' exciting dining experience. Brunswick, the bowling leader. And Turbo Bowling Accessories, driven to bowl. Now, get ready for Michigan Kingpins, Metro Detroit's all-access bowling show. Here's your host, Mark Martin. Welcome to Michigan Kingpins, your all-access connection to everything bowling. Whether it be league bowling, tournament bowling, seniors, youth, women, men, tournaments, it doesn't really matter. If it's about bowling, you're going to see it right here every month on Michigan Kingpins. We're going to talk about equipment at some point in time. We're going to talk about the latest in bowling center technology. We're going to talk about events. Whatever we want to talk about, we're going to talk about in the bowling capital of the world. The Metro Detroit USBC is bringing you this as a result of you as a member and committed to you and bringing you all the information. USBC is the national governing body of bowling. Our mission is to provide services, resources, and standards for the sport. Our vision? To be the leading authority to the sport, servicing the needs of bowling. How are we going to do that? We're going to make this promise to you. Our promise is to celebrate the past, be mindful of the present, and ensure bowling's future through thoughtful research, planning, and delivery. We will protect and nurture the sport with a mutual admiration and respect for all who enjoy bowling. New this year for the Metro Detroit USBC in the 2013-14 season are a couple of initiatives. First off, we've got a delivery system going. That delivery system is going to pick up and deliver to every bowling center in our market on a weekly basis. This includes forms, awards, anything else that may go back and forth in order to provide the best of service, not only to our members and our league officers, but our bowling centers, the whole community. The second thing is we have a mobile app. That mobile app can be found on the Android Store, Google Play, the Apple Store. Just look for MDUSBC. Now I'd like to talk about some things that are going to go on this year. We're going to have plenty of events and we're going to talk about those. First off, let's talk about the Women's Series. Women's Series kicks off this year on September 15th at Shelby Lanes in Utica. In October, October 13th at Shelby Lanes. Then we move to the west side of town. On November 10th, we're at Mayflower Lanes in Redford. Back to Shelby Lanes in January on January 12th. March 9th, also we're at Shelby Lanes. And then we final regular season event on April 13th at Mayflower Lanes in Redford once again. The Women's Series is going to conclude this year with the top 16 point getters in our Invitational. We don't know where it's going to be just yet, but we do know when. It's going to be on May 3rd. Now let's talk about the other events the association runs throughout the course of the season. Our first event this year is the Metro Detroit USBC Adult Youth Tournament. One adult, one youth, early October at Taylor Lanes in Taylor. Next up is our Junior Masters. Junior Masters for those high-end boys and girls that are going to compete at the junior goal level. That's in late October at Astro Lanes in Madison Heights. Next we go to the older ones, the Super Senior Masters, early November at Belmar Lanes in Lincoln Park. Then we roll into our regular youth tournament, our city youth tournament, it's at Sunnybrook Lanes in Sterling Heights. Starts in mid-November, mid goes till December. Next up is our 500 club for those ladies that are, have bowled a 500 in their career. This is at Wonderland Lanes in Commerce Township. This is in early December, followed by the Queens. The Queens is our top women bowlers participating in a two-day event at Astro Lanes in Madison Heights, and that's in mid-December. Then our Masters, the creme de la creme of our events. Mid-January, two days of qualifying, two days of match play at Taylor Lanes in mid and late January. Then our City Tournament, includes both our Open Division and our Women's Division, always a fun time, Runs for four weekends from the first part of February until the first part of March at Taylor Lanes in Taylor. And finally, our senior team tournament at Sterling Lanes and Sterling Heights at the beginning of March. For information on all those events you just saw, mdusbc.com, your complete source for everything going on with the association. Entry blanks, locations, tournament events, times, 
everything. Just log into mdusbc.com. Next up, we're going to talk about the 77th annual Gavi Tournament. This is the annual kickoff tournament for the bowling capital of the world. Been going on 77 years. Another wonderful event this year. We've got some interviews. We got results from it. We want you to stay tuned for that. And we'll be right back with the Michigan Kingpins. We want you. We are LTU, Lawrence Technological University and is one of the nation's best schools for engineering, architecture, and technology. We don't want just anybody. We want students who are curious and driven. Students who want to change the world through technology, science, and design. So if you believe that possible is everything, we want you at LTU. 300 isn't just a number. It is our destination. Shouting at a ball will make it strike more. Nothing is as satisfying as hurling dangerously heavy spheres at stationary objects and watching X's fill the frames. You know it, we know it. So here's to the ballers, the lane dwellers, the alley cats. A new breed is rising from the lanes. We are DV8. Tonight we bowl. If your birthday is near, Thunderbolt Lanes is the place to party. Check out Thunderbolt's cosmic bowling with cool light effects and great music. Bowl with your friends, have fun, and when you're done, check out Thunderbolt's new arcade. Games are free at your birthday party. That's right, play as much as you want. And with pizza and soft drinks, we have everything to make your party a smash. Check out cosmic bowling and arcades at Thunderbolt Lanes for your next birthday party. Call 313-928-4688 for more info. Come to Frank and Muth's Little Bavaria to enjoy the old world atmosphere, shopping on Main Street, and the food at the Frank and Muth Brewery and Restaurant. This historic destination is located at the north end of Main Street at the top of the hill. The brewery is known for its classic American fare with banquet facilities available. It's the only restaurant in Frank and Muth that has outdoor dining overlooking the scenic Cass River. Frank and Muth Brewery produces award winning craft beers, ales, and root beers, which can be found in your favorite restaurants and stores. Continue the family tradition and come to the Frank and Muth Brewery. Uh, as you can see, we've adopted the baby sling. It's good to be close to your child. But it's good to be far from the AT&T DSL hub because the farther you are from it, the slower your... Uh... AT&T DSL internet speeds. That's right. Bill, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I just think we should set up base camp and then move on in the morning. Go way faster than AT&T. Awesome is having the fastest internet and now the fastest in-home Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Welcome back to Michigan Kingpins. The 2013-14 league season was recently kicked off with the 77th annual Gavi Tournament at Thunder Bowl Lanes. And guess what? Michigan Kingpins was there to cover it. Now let's take it to Mark Rottenberg for all the action at Thunder Bowl Lanes. This is Mark Rottenberg for Michigan Kingpins, and I'm here at Thunder Bowl Lanes in Allen Park. I'm here for the 77th annual Gavi Tournament, which kicks off the USBC bowling season, where bowlers from the United States and Canada bowl in this one-of-a-kind tournament. I'm here with Frank Gavi, the nephew of the John Gavi who started the tournament. This is the kickoff to the season. Can you tell me a little bit more about your tournament? Well, the tournament started 77 years ago. My uncle, he worked down in the courts, he's more of a politician kind of a guy, but he loved bowling. So what they used to do when this tournament started, he figured he'd have a tournament for the all-star bowlers, the better class of bowlers in the, around the state of Michigan. So they used to have uh, a parade downtown, going down Woodward Avenue and convertibles and all the politicians and all the, it was a big thing. And the bowlers at that time, they used to wear ties when they bowl. It's a little different than it is today. I know bowling gets a bad rap because they say, you know, bowling's a bunch of beer hounds and stuff, but that's not so. I dare anybody to come out here and throw the ball as good as some of these fellas can throw the ball. This is the 77th year. What do you think that has kept this tournament going when tournaments have come and gone in this market, and but the Gavi tournament seems to be here year after year after year? Well, it's really hard to say, except that it was a tradition, and it just kept on getting bigger. It, at first, when they first started, it wasn't as big as this. There was only, like, it started out with 25 teams, and they went to 50 teams. And then we got a little bigger, so then we started going out and getting the, the 
normal bowler, the guy that bowls every day in the league. We got the whole of them, and we decided to uh, handicap the seniors, bring the seniors in, and stuff like that. And that's what made it big. And the people here enjoy it because it's, it's just getting together with everybody. You don't see each other all year long. You come here and friends, you know, how are you? I ain't seen you in a long time and all that. Just, just being together. That's great, sir. We really appreciate you being on Michigan Kingpins, and we look forward to seeing you again next year. Oh, I'll be here if the good Lord let me. Thanks. I'm here with Tom Strobel, owner of Thunder Bowl Lanes. Tom, this is a great facility with a long history. Tell me a little bit about your bowling, uh, bowling lanes and this tournament. Sure. Uh, Mark, uh, the facility was built by a whole group of investors in uh, 1961. A gentleman by the name of George Pribola was uh, the general manager and ran it up until 1997 when my brother and I bought it. And uh, so we've had this for about uh, well, 18 years now. And uh, we're very proud to be here. Uh, George left us a great legacy with uh, the uh, tournament uh, list that we have. It probably is uh, one of the best in the city. Uh, we have the Bowlers Hall of Fame here. Uh, we have a reinvigorated Bowling for Dollars that uh, is coming back. And uh, we have a great group of leagues in open bowling, so we try and cater to everyone. Tell us a little more about this Gavi tournament. It seems like a great way to start the season. You've got men bowlers, women bowlers, senior bowlers. Everybody seems to have a great time. Tell me a little more about the Gavi tournament. Well, uh, John Gavi was a tremendous promoter of bowling. And uh, his uh, nephew, uh, Frank, now is continuing. John has unfortunately passed away, but John started it, and he was involved with bowling for probably 30, 40 years. And so he started this tournament tournament as a kickoff every year to the bowling season. And so we are fortunate enough to have uh, 90 lanes going today, and we had a squad this afternoon of seniors. And so all the best bowlers in town and everybody that cares about bowling is here. Tom, this is a tremendous facility. I have to ask you one question. How are you doing in the Gabby tournament right now? <laughs> well, I had a new knee put in, so this is the first time that I've bowled since March. I'm uh, kind of holding my own, but I'm losing a few bets. <laughs> All right, Tom, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you. I'm here with Lou Ann Sarah, Detroit Bowling Hall of Fame member, Gavi Master of Ceremonies, and Commissioner of the All-Star Classic. Lou, tell me about the All-Star Classic and what you have planned this year. Well, we've increased our team membership from 9 to 10, which is a positive direction. We're looking for any new and interested uh, bowlers to come in and make this classic, get it back up to 18 teams where we once were back in the 80s. However, we'll take it a team at a time. We have the greatest league, I believe, uh, the greatest congregation of bowlers in the country. So we are definitely looking to promote our league, trying to get all competitive young bowlers in, so we will have a future. That's great. I know you're a big big promoter of bowling in this city, in this state. I um, want to ask you just one question. How are you doing in the Gavi tonight? Well, I haven't bowled all summer, but I'm holding my own. Thanks for being with us, Lou. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Charlie Cassisi, general manager of Thunder Bowl Lanes. Charlie, outstanding facility, 90 lanes, probably one of the biggest in Metro Detroit. Tell me a little bit about your facility. Well, Thunder Bowl was built in 1962. Uh, we had the main section and then the arena was built uh, to host the original National Bowling League. A um, few of the cities built some stadiums. Uh, that ended up going defunct after a season, but we still have the arena. Um, you know, since we've been running the bowling center for the last five years, Tom Strobel and myself, uh, we've had a lot of uh, large events here, especially with the PBA. We have a very good relationship with the PBA. We hosted the inaugural uh, World Series of Bowling in 2009. We had bowlers from 13 different countries came here to bowl. And since then, we've maintained a really uh, good working relationship with the PBA. Um, we are the only bowling center in the metro Detroit area that hosts a national tour stop. Um, plus this year in September we're going to be hosting a regional players championship, which is 48 of the very best bowlers in the region. They'll be in here in September uh, for three days. I believe it's the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Could be 13th, 14th, 15th. 
And anyway, that'll run. And then in January, starting on New Year's Eve with a Pro-Am, we're going to have 40 of the very best PBA bowlers in the world here. Uh, and we're going to kick off their team championship, which was something new that they started last year. Um, ought to be a lot of excitement. Um, it's new this year. They'll have singles, doubles, trio. So for anybody that's interested in seeing the best bowlers in the world, this is the place to come to this year in September and especially in January. Charlie, it's a, it's a, it's a great facility. Um, I think the Gavi tournament's going great. One last question for you. How are you doing in the Gavi tournament? <laughs> I'm doing all right. Um, I'm bowling all right. I'm a little bit over average. If I could shoot my weight, I'd be the best bowler in the tournament, but I can't do that. So, But I'm bowling just fine today. Uh, it was a great turnout. We have over 100 teams, and um, it's always a special event in the city of Detroit. A lot of people put in a lot of hard work. Uh, Frank Gabby and the rest of the people on the Gabby committee. So this is really not a Thunder Bowl effort. This is a Metro Detroit Bowling Association effort. And, uh, we appreciate everybody, everything that everybody in the city does for us. I'm here with Mike DeRossi, president of the Metro Detroit USBC. Mike, now that we officially kicked off the bowling season, what are some of the new things that members can expect this year? Mark, what I'd like to make sure they do is when they are filling out their certification card that first week of bowling, make sure that your name and your email address are filled in completely. We want to reach out to the bowlers and make sure that new programs that we have in mind meet with what their requirements are and what they'd like to see for the coming year. So if they make sure their email address is on there, we're going to be sending out a survey during October and we want to get some feedback from them as to what they'd like to see going forward. That sounds great. That means you're really an organization for the bowlers trying to see what they want this year, correct? That's right. I, I've heard you have a new program for the seniors down from the National USBC for AARP members. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, what the uh, National USBC has done is if you're a senior bowler 50 and over, you qualify for one year of AARP membership. If you've already paid for a membership and you're an AARP member currently, they just add one more year to your membership. So for your $15 that seniors pay in a senior league, they get more than that back as an AARP member. This seems like some pretty exciting stuff for this season. Uh, are you pretty excited for the new season? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We uh, should have a good year and uh, looking forward to all of our tournaments coming up. Great. Thanks, Mike. I'm here with Craig Johnson and Jim Johnson. Craig just bowled a 300. Jim just bowled a 298. How do you think you did in that first frame? What, what, what made you hit the 300? I've just been bowling good all summer and it finally started fall. And uh, Jim, what happened in that last frame? How come you didn't pick it up? <laughs> Seven times hard to do on a fill ball. I leave about one a night. <laughs> now, what do you guys like the most about the Gavi tournament? Uh, we haven't bowled in a couple of years, but we used to bowl it all the time. It's fun to get out, kick off the year. How about you, Craig? It's good to see a bunch of people you haven't bowled, bowled with or against in you know years. A lot of friends here. So we got to know a lot of people in the center. So great. Here's here's the big question: Who's the better bowler? He is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Detroit Hall of Fame bowler Michelle Ewald. Michelle, you've been bowling in the Gavi for 12 years. What's your favorite moment from this tournament? Favorite moment's got to be the year that I won with my all-star team. That year we were sponsored by Turbo Grips and Remerica. Um, I had a great team. We were bowling in the all-stars, came in for the tournament and ended up winning. You know, you come from a long line of a bowling family. What is your career highlight? Best moment's got to be last October when my younger brother Dave and I were inducted into the Hall of Fame together. Um, can't get any better than that. We grew up bowling together, tournaments, and we're best of friends. And that's a highlight, being Hall of Famer. How are you bowling tonight? Started with a 203, have some carry issues, but we'll get on it tonight. All right, good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. I'm here with Novella Daniels, Detroit Bowling Hall of Fame member and Michigan Women's Bowling Hall of Fame member <laughs> at the Gavi Tournament. Novella, what is your favorite Gavi moment? Um, the year that I shot 805 and I was high bowler, not just high woman, I was high bowler that year. And it was like 2005 or something. That must have been a special moment for you. It was. It felt great. I mean, you know, it's just an honor to be a part of the Gavi because it's so important. It's the kickoff of the year. And, you know, it's all about fun and love. And then to shoot an honor score is a bonus. 
I know you had a good season last year. You had that reigning champion in the Queens tournament. What are you going to do this year to be able to make sure you repeat for next year? Practice and keep using my hammer equipment. <laughs> Got to repeat. How are you bowling in this tournament so far? First game I shot 238. I think we're in like the eighth frame. I'm on 270. So we'll see how it ends up. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. The Gavi tournament every year is my favorite tournament. You know, the season starts, you start seeing people again, you just enjoy yourself. It's wonderful. Now we're going to talk about the results of that event. This year in the ladies division was dedicated to Chrissy Wissinger. The winner, Royal Flush, with a score of 34-61. Members of the team, Shimetta Strong of Redford, Lakeisha Phillips of Southfield, Latricia Phillips of Southfield, Lamika Quarles of Southfield, and Christine Howard of Detroit. Senior division, that was in the afternoon, was dedicated to Ken Kosick, and the big three won with a score of 34-82. Captain Phil Horowitz of West Bloomfield also had on the team Larry Franz from Redford, Bill Haynes of Rochester Hills, Bob Frank of Washington, that's not Washington, D.C., that's Washington Township. John Rogerio III of Belleville. Now in the open division, which includes mostly men, some women, dedicated this year to Chrissy's husband, Nick Wissinger. Great bowler, member of the Detroit Bowling Hall of Fame. Won by the Premier Bowlers Pro Shop with a score of 35-86. Members of the team, Craig Johnson of Taylor, Dan McClellan of Dearborn Heights, Paul Dalton of Brownstown, Chris Klazinski of Pinckney, and Jim Johnson Jr. of Inkster. Remember the interview just a little bit ago with Craig Johnson and Jim Johnson? Same guys who were in the interview, they end up winning the event. The Gavi, again, my favorite event, having a good time. We're going to move on, though. We're going to do other things on Michigan Kingpins because we're going to cover events all year long, just like we covered the Gavi. Now, after the break, come on back. We're going to talk about college bowling, one of my favorite subjects, and have a very special guest. Southeast Michigan's only high school sports show is State Champs. Presented by Lawrence Tech, all sports, all access. Join Lauren Plant and the State Champs team all school year long. Sundays at noon, right here on CW50. We want you. We are LTU, Lawrence Technological University and is one of the nation's best schools for engineering, architecture, and technology. We don't want just anybody. We want students who are curious and driven. Students who want to change the world through technology, science, and design. So if you believe that possible is everything, we want you at LTU. Come to Frankenmuth's Little Bavaria to enjoy the old world atmosphere, shopping on Main Street, and the food at the Frankenmuth Brewery and Restaurant. This historic destination is located at the north end of Main Street at the top of the hill. The brewery is known for its classic American fare with banquet facilities available. It's the only restaurant in Frankenmuth that has outdoor dining overlooking the scenic Cass River. Frankenmuth Brewery produces award-winning craft beers, ales, and root beers which can be found in your favorite restaurants and stores. Continue the family tradition and come to the Frankenmuth Brewery. Uh, as you can see, we've adopted the baby sling. It's good to be close to your child. But it's good to be far from the AT&T DSL hub because the farther you are from it, the slower your... Uh... AT&T DSL internet speeds. That's right. Bill, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I just think we should set up base camp and then move on in the morning. Go way faster than AT&T. Awesome is having the fastest internet and now the fastest in-home Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Welcome back to Michigan Kingpins. It's my pleasure to have the head bowling coach, Lawrence Tech University, a silver level coach, Brian Bressler. Welcome, Brian. Thank you, Mark. Well, Brian, tell me a little, about, a little bit about your team last year and how well they did. Uh, we finished 89th in the nation um, compared to the year before when we finished 97th. We're, we're going in the right direction for a team. Okay. What about in your conference? How did that turn out? In the conference, we finished fourth. Um, and we finished second in the conference championship, okay. which was a Baker-style double elimination event. All right. And we got beat out by Davenport at the end. Well, you know, runner-up isn't bad. I, I liked it. Not I bad at all. I was very happy with the boys. It'd be better when you get the champion, but oh, runner-up yeah. isn't bad. That's the step on the way there. Oh, yeah. Um, your boys' team, you got some new recruits this year. Who's going to join you? 
I have uh, Blake Noddle coming on board, uh, Brian Bush, Elliot Arnold, JP, or Jerome Pen Pensa. Pensa. Okay. Um, to name a few, and a few, a couple other boys from the west side of the state that uh, no one really knows about okay. yet. What about some returning players that you've got? I have uh, Scott Kajawa, Eric Pavlov, Henry Havare, um, just to name a few. I yeah. have 11 guys coming back. So Not bad, not bad. So how big is the team altogether? Uh, I counted it today. We were about 20 right now. you got 20 on the team. How many actually participate in an event? Uh, you can take eight on a team. Okay. Uh, but we, we're going to travel with uh, three teams this year okay. to most events except for the Tier 1 events. Okay. What about on the girls' side? What's going on there? That's exciting at LTU. We got our women's bowling team, first ever. So when the women throw a ball, they're set in history for Lawrence Tech right then and there. Excellent. What about some girls you've got I coming have to the team? Jerrica Mazi, who fell through the cracks somehow. And you were sitting there waiting to catch and her, I'm weren't you? I'm glad she's on That's our right. team. I'm really glad. Exactly. Um, I got uh, return two return players, uh, Haley and Bridget, and we have Kristen Young also joining the team. Okay. Um, what about some events that LTU is going to sponsor this year? Uh, not so much sponsor, but we're going to host uh, okay. uh, our WAC conference, which is Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference, number three Jamboree, uh, December 7th at uh, Country Lanes in Farmington Hills. Country Lanes is your home house, aren't they? Yes, it is. You know, thanks to Jim Hamlin for all his uh, uh, hard work and help to get guy. you there. That's great right. Guy. Right. Well, Brian, well, thank you for joining us on Michigan Kingpins. We'll be there every step of the way to cover LTU on to a championship. How's that sound? Thank you, Mark. And when we come back, we'll talk about ne next month. What's going on next month when we come back? Uh, as you can see, we've adopted the baby sling. It's good to be close to your child. But it's good to be far from the AT&T DSL hub because the farther you are from it, the... Slower your uh... AT and T DSL internet speeds. That's right. Bill, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I just think we should set up base camp and then move on in the morning. Go way faster than AT and T. Awesome is having the fastest internet, and now the fastest in-home Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Three hundred isn't just a number; it is our destination. Shouting at a ball will make it strike more. Nothing is as satisfying as hurling dangerously heavy spheres at stationary objects and watching X's fill the frames. You know it, we know it. So here's to the ballers, the lane dwellers, the alley cats. A new breed is rising from the lanes. We are DV8. Tonight we bowl. Students in 6th through 12th grade can learn from the safety of your home with My Virtual Academy. Students are provided all the necessary equipment and an internet connection if needed. The online curriculum is supported by teachers who are in scheduled contact with students and parents. Go to MyVirtualAcademy.com and discover a new way of learning and living with My Virtual Academy. Welcome back to Michigan Kingpins. Let's talk about what we're going to feature next month. Next month, the Metro Detroit USBC Women's Series on September 15th at Shelby Lanes. We're going to be there covering all the action, bringing it to you on Michigan Kingpins. But before I go home, I'd like to talk about a few people and thank them. This year, this week, we talked about the Gabby Tournament. We saw all the Gabby action thanks to Tom Strobel and Charlie Cassisi at Thunderbolt. A couple other people, Lori Moraz and Brian Graham. Most of all, probably the people I work for. Metro Detroit USBC, Mike DeRossi, President, Anita Majorana, Vice President. And you know, I can't close a day without talking about Lou Ann Lou Luann Sarah, he's the ultimate sponsor in the bowling capital of the world. Been around forever, helps out everybody. Lou, thank you for everything you've done for the sport in this market. And until next time, I'm Mark Martin. Michigan Kingpins is brought to you by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Trotside Restaurant, Northfield Downs' exciting dining experience. Brunswick, the bowling leader. And Turbo Bowling Accessories, driven to bowl.